Hello guys, let's learn how to create actionable buttons. This is useful when you want to fill up input based on certain event. So to do this, let's head over to behavior. And let's add a new action as shown on screen. And let's rename this to uh, in progress. Let's give it a name. So once you're done, you just want to make sure you're using the right table source and in do this i'm selecting set the values of some columns in this row and from there let's select the columns that we want to use so in this case i'll be using user time in status updated by and updated on now let's set the behavior for user, I'm using user email so that I can record the person doing this. Once you're done, click save. For time in, I'll be using now so that I can know the time this input was executed. For status, I'm adding a text input. In this case, I'll be adding in progress means every time when the button is click the status will be changed to in progress all right this may be redundant but it's just a habit i'll be i'll be adding an audit trail so where it will capture the user and the date of this record this is optional you can ignore this and let's give this action an icon you can easily do this from the appearance section below so I'm just going to select an icon. Once done, click save. Let's add a record. Let's assume we have a record here. And once we click the button, it immediately changes according to the parameters that we have set earlier. As you can see on screen. So this is a good approach for quick updates. And in advance, you can assign robots to execute this action on behalf. So this is the first part for setting up a proper automated workflow, which we will cover it in a different video. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.